Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name's Jess from Team Minerva and today we've got a special spotlight for you on the Aura dress by Paper Cut Patterns. I've made this dress up in three different ways to hopefully give you inspiration of different things you can make with the Aura dress pattern. It's obviously a little sneak preview here of the three things I made, but I will take you through one by one to show you the different options you can make. Okay guys, so here we go. One aura pattern made in three ways. I made the aura skirt, as you can see on the left, and the aura dress in the middle. And the third on the right was a slight hack of an aura top. So let's get into how I found making each of these, as well as a couple of things I did differently. Before we dive into each one of these, I just wanted to show you a couple of extra things you're going to need for any of these projects. So. Firstly is your interfacing. There is facing down the dress um, and skirt pattern. So you will need some interfacing. This one here is really soft and lovely. Um, it's fusible, so really easy to use as well. So I'd recommend that one. And of course, you will need your threads. So I've got some varying different colors here that match the uh, fabrics I've chosen. So these will all be linked below for you so that you can easily find the matching thread. The only one I'd say is that this green was a little bit darker than I probably would have liked, but it still wasn't that obvious. So the first thing I made was the skirt view on of the aura pattern. Now, the only thing that's actually significantly different about this is I decided to make it reversible. But firstly, just to mention the fabric, this is the Robert Kaufman Essex linen um, in the two different shades. It's, it is more of a stiff linen, but um, I think that actually worked quite well with this skirt because it gives it a lot of structure, um, which I think is nice with the belt to kind of give it a little bit more a little bit more stiff kind of medium weight fabric I think is really nice for this and I think this pattern is really nice in linen as well so I definitely wanted to try it with the linen. To make a reversible option of the skirt there was just a couple of key things I had to do. You're cutting two versions of each pattern piece, one in each fabric, but you don't need the facing pieces as it's essentially completely lined. However I did want to make sure the front parts that would normally have facing were strong enough and therefore I did end up fusing interfacing to the ivory side of the skirt. It was a bit of a risk, but you can't really see it. It's certainly no different to how you might slightly see the facing pieces anyway. Next, because you're not doing the facing parts of the pattern, this significantly affects the hole that the tie goes through. Instead of following the pattern here, you can instead do the dress version of the tie hole. So you can sew up to the notches which you will have marked onto your fabric, and then sew up to the top edge from the other marking. Ignore the cuts in mine, I was having a bit of a moment trying to work out how to do this until I realized the dress version of the instructions was perfect. Then like the dress version, you can top stitch each side. This does mean that the two sides aren't sewn together at the tie hole. However, you could top stitch both together if you don't mind the wrong colour thread being on one of the sides. Or you could perhaps hand stitch them together with some see-through thread after you've top stitched them. Another thing I had to change was the actual ties themselves, as I wanted the different fabric on each side. So I had to fold the pattern piece in half and I did fold the end of one of the pieces so that it matched the other piece. Then you can cut these pattern pieces in both fabrics and sew them together all the way around the edge rather than just one edge like in the regular version. This will give you a nice reversible tie. Once you've made both skirts, one in each fabric, you can simply lay them right sides together and sew all the way around the edge. Ensure that you sew the ties in at this point. Leave a hole at the bottom hem of the skirt so you can turn it right side out and then you can hand sew the hole closed. Give it all a good press and there you have one finished reversible aura skirt. What I love about this idea is it really gives you two items for your wardrobe in one, which is great. Having the two layers of this linen does make the skirt a little on the heavy side, 
but you don't notice when it's on really. And as it's linen, it should still be pretty breathable in the summer months. And a bonus is that it's not see-through at all. The dress I made from a Rose Hubble uh, cotton gingham. It's a really small gingham check, so from far away it kind of just looks like a lime green, which is really nice. I really love the bright colour on this one. It is the lightest fabric of all three that I used for these projects, um, so it doesn't have quite the same kind of structure to it because it is um, lighter in, in uh, weight. But nevertheless, it worked really well and still kind of a very lovely outcome. The Aura dress version was fairly simple as I followed the pattern with no hacks. The only thing that was changed was when I cut the pattern, I had to grade from size three at the waist to size four at the hips. This hasn't affected the overall look of the dress at all. And I was really happy with the outcome of this. If you want to see more of how I made the dress, please do have a look at one of the other videos, the Aura dress sew along, where I take you through the whole process. The third one I made was the top version that was a slight hack of the pattern. This is actually a Lady McElroy um, fabric, but it is a really nice kind of cotton, um, more of a medium weight fabric. And what I quite liked about it is it has a very small stretch to it. So although it's thicker, it kind of has a little bit of movement, um, but not too much because you probably wouldn't want a stretch fabric for this pattern. Um, so that was a really light, nice fabric. I really like the pattern of this with the um, lilac and green. I'm not really much of a beige person, but with the lilac and green, it worked really nicely. My original intention was actually to hope to wear these together but I kind of forgot about the fact that they would both have the tie on them. So it'd probably be a bit um, heavy to wear these together and not maybe not quite the same colour, but um, that was the intention, but not didn't quite work out with that one. Tack this pattern to make a top is unbelievably easy as all you're really doing is making it shorter. So all I did was cut my fabric about 13 centimetres from the bottom tie hole notch on the pattern. And that's all you need to do for the main pieces and the facing pieces, of course. Everything else you can sew the same as the pattern. You'll see here that I did also cut it slightly wider going out over the hips. This is because I wanted a little bit more fabric in this section below the tie, just for this top. But I don't want to overcomplicate things by having to create a peplum pattern piece or something like that. So this was the easiest way I could think to do it. I was concerned that just adding onto the side would make the fabric stick out a little bit at the sides and kind of look a bit weird, but as it was such a small increase, it actually worked really nicely. I absolutely love the outcome of this top. I've already worn it out loads as I think it's really flattering, you know, on the cut and it gives you a really nice shape at the waist. I love the fabric also, as I'm not a huge print person, but I love checks and ginghams, but this one's actually a little bit different than kind of your normal check kind of fabric. It does mean that you have to do a little bit of pattern matching, which I almost always forget to bear in mind when I'm cutting. So I did the best I could with my cut pieces, but it's certainly not perfect. But that's something for you guys to bear in mind. The good thing is that it's a big pattern, so to match it isn't too fiddly. So I hope you enjoyed that guys and you've had some inspiration of some things you can make with the Aura pattern. If you do make anything, make sure you post it on Minerva because we love to see it and do tag in the paper cut patterns Aura dress too. All the things that I've used in this video will be linked below also so you can easily access those. And if you did enjoy the video, follow Minerva so you can easily see more videos from the team. Until next time guys, happy sewing. Bye.